Okay guys, so this video is going to be, I'm kind of unprepared, but it is going to be on a ponytail type of tutorial. I have an idea in mind and I'm hoping I can execute it in this video. Um, I always like wearing ponytails, but I don't want to just show you how to put my hair up in a ponytail. I kind of want to do something a little fancier that would be nice for the holidays, but if you like having your hair up and you kind of want to show off your neckline or, or show off some earrings or something, this would be a really good idea. So, and it's quick and kind of if you feel like you're a little lazy with your hair and you kind of want to do something nice but not take a lot of time on it. So, right now my hair is blow dried. I just kind of blow dried it uh, and brushed it through with a round brush. I'm just going through it with a comb to get everything out and smooth it out. So, and in case you guys are wondering, this is what my hair looks blow dried. Uh, it's been about three months now, or two and a half months after the keratin treatment, and this is what my hair looks like blow dried. So, I'll let you guys be the judge on that, but I'm going to do another video on an update about that. So, this will kind of leave you guys in suspense until that one. I usually like to have a part in my ponytail rather than straight back, but you can do either for this. And the part that I like wearing is on this side mainly. Now what I'm going to do is just take my straightener and this is the Sadu Revolution straightener and it's the smaller one. I think it's one, one inch of a width, so it looks like this and it's up to 450 degrees right now and what I'm going to do is just go through the front part here and just the parts that are mainly seen. I'm going to pretty much take shortcuts with this look and only straighten the parts that are going to be most noticed. So this is just pretty much the front area here and I'm just going to go through it and get out all those little kinks in the front. And kind of just straighten my side swept whatever these are. I cut these and they're kind of just randomly stopped now. They don't even look like side swept bangs, but I'm trying to make them work. And so just get the front part here. And I'm planning on doing a review on this straightener. I'm going to kind of do a review on, I think, the straighteners that I own and just kind of give an overview and how I feel about all of them. And uh, I'm really happy with this one so far, so I'm going to give an in-depth review uh, on it. Now I'm going to put my hair up, and this part is your choice on where uh, you'd like the ponytail on your head. So it just depends on what you want, but you can do this look anywhere on your head. If you like a high pony, a low pony, medium, I'm going to kind of just do a medium in the middle of the back of my head. Um, and so... I'm going to leave these pieces down too. You can do that. That's an option for you if you have like some bangs. I'm just going to leave these down and kind of style them. So um, I'm going to bring up the rest. Right about there is good. And I'm going to tie it pretty securely because I'm going to go ahead and straighten just the ponytail next because it's a little too fluffy for me right now. So I'm going to take that straightener again and this is kind of just taking the shortcut instead of straightening your whole head, just straighten your ponytail, which I do a lot when I just want my ponytail straight. And so just go all the way towards the ends. So just continue to do all of your ponytail and your, your elastic band might loosen up, but it's okay, We're, we can retie it. But the point is just to get the ponytail nice and straightened out so it's easier. So now that it's pretty straight how I want it, just the ponytail looks a lot sleeker and easier to work with. Kind of made it go a little off center here, so I'm just going to realign my pony where I want it to, and I'm just going to put it right about here. Make sure it's all smoothed out now that we're ready to style it. pretty easy and so yeah that's just a little trick too if you ever just want to have your ponytail straight just straighten your ponytail part and people will never know you didn't straighten this part because if I take down my ponytail holder it'll be like Phoom. but if you just kind of tie it back no one will notice so yeah it just looks like that and took less than five minutes to do just the ponytail part 
And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a wraparound pony um, holder so you can't see the hairband. And I don't know if you guys have seen that before. There's quite a few tutorials on it, but I'm just going to quickly take um, the longest section of my hair. I'm going to take about a chunk this big from my ponytail, just like this. And I'm going to separate it. And we're going to use this as the look in our hair ties. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking this and I'm going to also take my finger and go under the under one of the elastic uh, wraparounds like that. So I'm going to take it and hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. But yeah, I have this held up like this and I'm going to wrap that chunk of hair around my hair until it stops and when I come to the end I'm going to tuck the end of the hair into that elastic band that I was holding open for it and I'm going to pull it through What I'm going to do is cover the hair over that band and then spread out the ponytail. So make sure you tuck that extra hair in so that's not poking out. Looks like that and you've covered that hair band with your, your own hair so it just looks like you tied your own hair with your own hair. So we have our pony and our little wrap around ponytail holder and now I'm just going to just again brush through the pony here and I'm actually going to hairspray it just lightly because we're going to curl a little bit of the ponytail to add just a little more oomph to the look so I'm just going to comb it out it's going to help it stay a little better so I'm just using a really cheap curling iron. I don't even know where this is from. It says Pro Touch, but this is really old. Any like smaller uh, curling iron to just really get those smaller pieces. And what I'm going to do is take a few sections of the ponytail and I'm going to curl them all in the same direction. So try to go as close to the bottom as possible and then just roll it up. So there's one, it's just kind of a loose curl to add something to the ponytail and I'm going to keep doing the rest of the hair in the ponytail in the same direction. I'm just going to style this part, if you you didn't have to leave this out, but you could. I'm just going to wrap it around the barrel, kind of like a clipless curling iron. You can do this if you don't want to buy a clipless curling iron. You can just use your curling iron and go around the barrel. I'm just going to add a little something around the frame of my face, some loose curls. I'm just going to do that softly just to give it a little something in the front. And then, yeah, so that's it. That's just kind of adding, making kind of a basic ponytail into something a little more softer, kind of like more romantic, loose curls. Um, so hopefully this helped you guys out. I really, really like ponytail looks, whether they're just simple, throw your hair up, or this, if you want kind of something a little different. So I hope this was helpful, and thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you have any requests or anything like that, and I'll be happy to do them. So thanks, guys. Bye.